Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a player receive a badge when a part is clicked. Just before the video begins I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure your exploring properties are enabled. If exploring properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on view, and enable exploring properties, then they should show up somewhere over your screen. Now that you've enabled exploring properties, you want to click back on home, and then you want to go and insert the part which the player is going to be clicking. So for this tutorial, we're just going to make it a very small looking part just right here. Kind of almost kind of like a button, I guess you could say. But you want to go and customize your part, change the color, change the transparency. It's really up to you. We'll just be changing the color to maybe like, kind of like a pastel blue. And then we are also going to be making sure that it is anchored by clicking up here, clicking on the part and then clicking on anchor. Once you've customized your part, you then want to click back on your part, click on the plus button next to your part and insert a click detector. So now that you've inserted a click detector inside of your part, you can go and adjust a couple of things. So if we click on our click detector on our properties, we'll be able to change the max activation distance. Basically what this means is, if I'm more than 32 away, I won't be able to click on the part. But if I'm, if I'm below 32 to the part, then I will be able to click it and then I'll be able to receive the badge. For this tutorial, we're just going to be leaving it at 30. So once you've changed your max activation distance, we want to head over to our part and then we want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted a script inside of your part, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So on line one, where it says local button equals game.workspace.yourpartname, whatever your part name is called, so for this tutorial, our part is called part, but ideally you'd really go and change it to something else maybe like click for badge or something or kind of rename your part to whatever you would remember but depending on what your part name is which holds the click detector and the script you want to go and change that right here so now that you've identified on what button equals game.workspace.yourpartname now that you've done that we want to head over to line 4 where it says local badge id equals and we want to change this id to our badge id which the players are going to be receiving if they click onto this part so if you don't already have a badge to your game, you want to head over to the main Roblox page and go to your game. You then want to click on the three dots and then you want to go to configure this experience. So now that you've clicked configure this experience, we want to head over to the side here where it says associated items and we want to select associated items. We will now be able to adjust the badges, passes and developer products, but for this tutorial we are focusing on a badge. Now if you don't already have a badge, you want to click on create a badge and then you want to upload an image change the name of your badge, badge, maybe a secret badge or um, I don't know, maybe something like a hidden badge, really create a name for your badge. And then you want to go and add a description about your badge. It is not necessary, but if you would like to add a description, you could. Then once you've filled out everything here, you want to click on create badge. For this tutorial, I'll just be using the badge which I already have. You then want to go over to your badge, click on the three dots, and then you want to click copy asset ID. And then we want to take this back to Roblox Studio. So now that you've got your badge ID, you want to head over to the script again, and then we want to change this ID and paste in our badge ID. Once you've changed out the badge ID, you want to head up here, click on X next to the script to go save it, and then we want to go over to File and publish the game to Roblox. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and if we go click on this part, we will receive the badge. As you guys can see, we have now just received the badge of the badge by us clicking onto this part. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.